I'm back with a new vlog. Uh, this is going to be about the presentation we had today um, and I'm going to talk about, because I've got a lot of notes in my notebook about uh, previous ones, um, the recent one from Blitz, uh, Dell, and there was uh, one that uh, was, I think it's in was in our first year when Rare came and did a presentation. Um, I'm not sure how relevant it is, but I've got a lot of notes um, and stuff, but basically just to sum up what is fresh in my head from um, the one we had today, we had uh, Simon Reed uh, come in, he's a concept um, and interface artist, he's got like 10 years industry experience, um, those of you might uh, have seen his work if you've bought the new Formula 1 game, um, him and um, his team um, designed the, um, the entire uh, UI uh, for that. Uh, game, so all well, the menus, the um, like the sub like talking bits, um, well pretty much the uh, the entire look of like the main structure of the menu, uh, well of the the working mechanics of the game aside from the racing, um, but even in the racing like this class. But anyway, um, basically uh, the guy's got pretty good like credit stuff like he worked for Codemasters, THQ, Nickelodeon, and Lego at some point, Sega, uh, Vivendi, and EA Games. The main points from his presentation were. Um, and I'm going to have to read these from here, so bear with me if I'm not looking at the camera. But um, basically, uh, learn your packages. Um, obviously, for us, the main stuff is 3ds Max. Um, indeed, like if, especially if you're doing like UI, st UI stuff like Photoshop, um, probably Illustrator as well for the Vector side of it. Um, and um, you know, it's basically like learn, learn the packages that you're learning now, and maybe learn a few extra as well, um, just to create like make stuff more versed, like things like Mayor, etc. Basically, learn as much as you possibly can. Which, um, if you're obviously you know here at university, um, is a really really good thing. Is like learn as much as you can while you're here because when you're right there, you're right there. There's that's it. Um, I mean, yes, you can learn on the job, but you you know you'll be in a job and you may as well learn everything you can while you're here beforehand. So you know to hopefully get yourself a better job, um, so you can learn more when you're in that better job. If that makes any sense whatsoever, build yourself up. Up. Learn and build up your skill sets. Again, it's probably the same with the the, the side uh, with the programs. Um, expand your horizons, um, especially outside of um, like you know digital programs, like you know building up your drawing techniques, um, your visual style, um, like basically things of that nature. Just like build up what you know already. Practice, 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 etc., etc., etc. Uh, be aware of new techniques, uh, methods of working that influ and influences. Um, basically stay current. Um, don't just try and stick to what you know and what you think you know. Look look outside the box, look at what other people are doing, um, look at things outside of the industry that may influence things later on or may influence your work or stuff that you think will work well um, and that nobody's cottoned on to yet. Um, it's just basically just look not just at the games industry as a whole, look outside it, because everything you see can be helpful. Um, it's it's true for character design, it's true for environment design, uh, basically anything and everything is noteworthy and is useful, you just need to know where to look and for the decent stuff to be able to utilise it. Uh, be prepared to be a big, uh, sorry, a small cog in a big wheel, um, which is going to be true for a lot of us who are Getting, you know, um, we're going to be getting the start, like especially for third years, so I'm getting a start next year, um, in hopefully getting a start in industry work. Um, fingers crossed. But yeah, don't expect to be going in there to be like lead what whatsoever. You you need to know that you know you're going to start from the bottom. Um, you know, it, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy to start from the bottom and work my way up. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's you know as long as I'm in the industry, I don't care if I'm making the tea. Um, well, I do. You know, I wish I was making more than the tea, obviously. But yeah, just just don't try and think you're going to walk in there and be the master class of the studio. Just you know, you you need to know that you're going to have a place when you do you know you do your work and build it yourself. Um, it's basically like your confidence, stuff, uh, like stuff like that, when you're going to do job interviews and um, build up your presentation to a decent standard. Um, include like decent amounts of like what you think is relevant for the position you're applying for. Don't stick anything and everything in there um, because that might just like bombard them but um, select your good, the good stuff and then when you're doing presentations um, like when you you pra basic, basically practice what you're going to say to the people. Practice with your mum, your nan, whoever you got available, pull a guy off the street if you have to. 
just like go through your work and learn it by heart. So when you go in there, you don't have to sit there and go uh, and think about something. You know it like that, and you know you, you'd be you dead set. And um, like in part of that, that will help you promote yourself. And learning how to promote yourself is a really really good thing. Um, don't obviously walk in there with like you know banners and everything saying me 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 or you know all, all that stuff. Just learn how to be able to present yourself in a way that is appealing to them um that's going to make them remember you to like you know especially in the interview process the amount of people that go have come and come and do the jobs and stuff it's good basically you have to make sure you stand out and you know you know what you're talking about you don't stand out for the wrong reasons basically next presentation but then we have um del walker um he was a previous student of ours um, who graduated last year um and he's currently working for blitz um, he came up with some really, really good, like good stuff, but not just to try and overrun on the other one because the other presentation went. Uh, sorry, the other thing I just talked about went a bit long. Um, but his key points were basically you gotta have passion for what you're doing. Um, that can take in the form of obviously if you're drawing and you want to get into like concept and illustration, into design and everything, you gotta make sure that you don't just want to do it um, as like a job. You, you know, you've got to do it at home. You've got to practice, practice, practice. Um, and just really have passion for like learning new techniques, expand your horizons, and really wanting to do the work. Um, because if you lose that passion, um, it's it can be really really difficult. Competency, dedication. You gotta be able to analyze your own work as well. Um, you gotta see the bad points, and you gotta be able to take criticism. That's a really really big thing, um, especially. Uh, with like maybe newer students who aren't like used to it, you've got to be able to separate yourself from your artwork. You've got to be able to hear somebody like say, you know, you need to change this. This isn't quite right, etc., etc. Without you, you know, going. But well, you know, I invested myself and I say much in this. It, it's a piece of artwork. It things can be erased, things can be rubbed out, things can be redone. Um, you just need to learn to be able to. You know, take it on the chin and say yes, that was a useful piece of information. You're right, that can change it. If you, you know, if you disagree, then you know that that's fine as well. But you've got to be able to learn to take it, um, because otherwise you're going to cause yourself an endless amount of headaches. Before that was the presentation uh, with from Blitz from Studio Art Director um, Aaron Allport and the R and D Art Director Julian Webb. Um, these guys have been here um, a few years before. Um, if you've been, you know, obviously we're in third year students now, so we've heard like this stuff before. Um, those guys are really, really good. Um, I kind of wish that you concentrate, well, I wouldn't say concentrate, but add a bit more um, of the environment side of it because it seemed to be geared more around character and uh, animation um, than anything else. I mean, they gave me some useful information, but I just wish there was a bit more of like environment structure and stuff in there. To go over the the, um, the points of their presentation, um, they got some really really good ones. Um, you got to understand the difference between a art game artist and being a gamer. Um, that is kind of core. You got you can't think of like going in the industry going oh you know I play games so I want to be in the games industry and like you know stuff like that. Yes, that's a part of it. You know you, you you're a fan of like you know games is what they do, but that's not what's going to get you hired. Um, you need to apply yourself to you know learning the techniques, becoming an artist. Um, you know in your own right, it, you can't just get hired because you have an interest in video games. You need to put the work in. Um, so that's really really important. Be confident. Um, that's a really really good one, um, especially when you, that comes to things like portfolios um, and such as well. Um, aim your portfolio to sort of suit the skill set that or you know the job position you're going for um don't stick lumps of like you know just everything in there and just bombard them if you're going for an environment job because if you know if there's no point in putting characters and stuff in there you know in a portfolio if you're going for environment work um it look nice but you know it's you need to be able to segregate what you're going for because if they can see you're aiming for a particular thing they you know they don't think you're just trying to like you know just get in at, you know at any level whatever. When I, I asked him a question about um, like stuff that's really really good for environment artists, like you know what sort of things they look for um, and what sort of things they want to see, um, 
more of um, you know because they get like a generic amount of like stuff um, I, I, I remember Jolien saying that um, the one thing that he's sick of seeing is like bloody bathrooms and stuff like that basically he um, puts uh, colours lighting um, shadow colours uh, good things to concentrate on um, atmosphere and uh, camera placement and composition of the piece are really really important two things as well that he wanted to um, if you were going to apply for a position with them and that they would like to see is um, create something real um, that is um, you know that they can identify that they can say yes that works you know because they can see the scene they can see the lighting they can see the colors um, they know if you've done things wrong or can tell you things to improve on and um, create something um, fresh and original kind of like the stuff that Ray used to produce um, you know like you know um, sort of like platform environments and stuff like that, stuff that's colourful and like, you know, shapely and, you know, it's, it's all custom painted, like textures and stuff like that. You'll have your own ideas, but, you know, I, I thought it was like a really, really useful um, bit of information to get from them. That's basically it, it from those guys. Um, they do have an open day as well um, for the third years um, that I've got the information for here. Um, open days in February and March um, 2011. They, I saw a post on Blackboard, I think it was um, this week, has been put up maybe in the last couple of days um, for applying. Um, I'm going to put the uh, relevant information, the link and stuff again in below. Um, but it's definitely worth um, you know checking out guys. Right, this is going back some now. Um, this is a presentation that we had from Rare um, by um, Oliver Laduc. Uh, I'm so sorry if I pronounce your name. It's very, very difficult. But I'll, I'll put all the names and information here. But yeah, um, and um, Carla Prada, um, as you can see, lots of stuff that was taken from that. Um, I might just scan these pages in and then just put them below so people can like see see the stuff that we got from these guys. Um, they had a really, really vast amount to say and they covered everything from um, advice for concept artists, portfolio hints, um, job advice, um, interview tips, um, commonly asked questions and there was like some websites and um, they gave us some like, uh, well they um, gave us some stuff like items of interest um, to concentrate on. There's way too much to be like going in on here. Um, it's, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll I'll put it all on. Um, I'll scan it all in and I'll put it in below this video. Uh, but it's it's definitely worth checking out. They these guys go into a lot of detail. And just to sum up, these guys these guys like you know they spend their own like free time coming out to see us, and it's definitely worth you know going to. Um, if you're serious about getting in, in the business, you need to go to these presentations. You can't just skip out and just think, you know, oh, well, I'll miss this one or whatever. You need to go to them because, you know, you might hear one just one piece of information. I'll think, yeah, that works for me and inspires you to like go on. You need to do this. Um, but yeah, aside from that, um, I just want, you know, just going over everything here. Just, you know, thank you to all the guys who spent the time, um, like, you know, to come in to see us and all the guys and girls who will you know, in the future they'll be coming to see us, um, and obviously the cheat is for getting these people to come and see us in the first place, you know, it's, it is, it's, it's really, really cool to be able to interact this well um, with people that you're hoping to one day be able to work with. If you have any um, questions or if you, you know, need any information from, you know, the notes and stuff like that, um, just leave me some comments. Um, if you have any ideas, again, um, if you, for anything you want me to, you know, it would be useful for me to talk about in future videos that you might want to you know that you have interests in that you know that you want to hear about um you know post that as well um but until the next video thanks a lot